And my iPad is easier to do this with, but it doesn't record very well. It crashes. So I'm going to try this with my phone. So here you will see the base. Um, you could see there's une uneven wear and tear on the base. So right here, the wheel is rubbing here, and there's a teeny nick right here. If that makes sense. See there on the left and the right. Now I'm going to go over to the other side of the base. And there's the same thing. The wear and tear is significant right here on the right. Which I guess you can see why it's, why it's wobbling. If it's wear and tear on this side here. And then on the opposite side over here. The opposite side. So, And then there's a little bit of wear here. So I don't know if the wheel is supposed to be rubbing against the bottom of the base, but it is. Um, and then here is the base. It's um, the wing nuts are both tightened. Can't tighten those wing nuts anymore on the sides there and there. Now, right now, the um, wheel is on the, on a carpet, and of course, when I tested it earlier, the carpet was peeled back and it was flat on the floor. And there, I don't have two people to do this, so sorry about this. There was like, there was no significant rocking anywhere from side. I'm standing in the middle doing this, by the way. And, you know, there, was, there wasn't any major, there wasn't any like rocking back and forth like the video on Facebook, the one you were preparing. But I went around and um, banged it all in. And then flipped it over and bang, bang, bang with the mallet all the way around. Here's Tatiana who's pretty mad because it's not working. So here are some of the seams. Um, let me see. I'll go on the other side. Pardon me. Okay. So let's see. Here is a seam. And then there's the seam on the other side. So they're not... My thumb is on one and my fingers on the other. They're not lined up. And if you go all the around, all the way around, you will see here's another seam and here's another one. So they're not lined up, which I believe that's what you were talking about in the video. Is they're not supposed to be lined up. All right. So now this is the hard part because I'm alone. I'm gonna tip the wheel up. Um, and obviously that's the wheel not on the base. I'm going to attempt to put it on the base with one hand, which is easy because it's pretty light. So here I go. Now, right now, the wheel, I did, so I made the adjustment that I was initially told to do. So when I initially wrote to the company about the um, wobbling, I was told to loosen the wheels. So I got a wrench, and each wheel is approximately... You'll see here. Sorry about the glare. Let me see. Um, each wheel is about, gosh, not even a quarter of an inch. Uh, unscrewed about a less, a little less than a, not a less, like an eighth of an inch. A, a little bit on all four sides. I don't know how to measure it. It's a very small, very small amount. Um, but it does seem to make it more unstable, actually, when I loosen it. Um, when the, when the, I'm going to do two videos. This video is it going to be, it's going to be of the wheel rolling when the, all four wheels are loosened, um, uh, just a bit. And the second video, I'm going to, I'm going to tighten all the wheels like one would think it should be. And that tends to be when the entire thing fall, falls over onto the floor, including the base, which is what happened about a half hour ago. So the entire thing fell over, still attached to the base. But when I loosen the wheels, it jumps the track. So two different things are happening depending on how I have the wheels. So the problem is right now, I I don't I'm holding the phone, so I can't really. I'm gonna do it from the middle, so I can try to you know imitate a more even. But usually I would hold it on each side, and when I did that, it of course still jumped the track. So here we go. This is just kind of slowly. Oh, and it's already off. So that was me doing it kind of slowly. I'm going to put the phone down for a second and just make sure that I had it on the base. And I'm going to spin it. Let me see if I can prop the phone. I wish I had my stand with me, which I don't, of course. Um, I'm going to try to prop the phone so that you can at least see a little bit. 
of what's happening. All right, so that's kind of this. Will, this is actually a good angle because it shows you the rocking from left to right. So each 